I came to the parks this morning to get this popcorn bucket because it is the cutest thing in the entire world. But while I was here, I did a lap around islands because why not? And I noticed that the new food booth over in Marvel Island is finally open. It's been here for like three weeks now, so we knew that it was gonna open any minute now. And you guys seem to enjoy our video where we tried all the new food from the two booths over in Universal Studios. So we're gonna do the same thing with this new booth today. And they have some really unique food that we're excited to try. and eat all of the food items over here at this little like pavilion because it is unbelievably loud in Marvel. Like I have a theory that it is the loudest land here and one of these days I'm gonna get like a, a decibel meter, like a, a des decimeter. I don't know what they're called but I'm gonna bring a thing over here that tells us how loud it is and prove that theory right. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna bring all of our food over here so you guys can actually hear us when we talk about it. Up first we have the chorizo dog, so it's just a piece of chorizo on a hot dog bun. It also comes with these veggies, but they do come in this little cup on the side. So we added like the pickled onion and tomatoes, and then it also comes with a chimichurri sauce. This looks really, really good. I'm not usually a big like hot dog fan, but I'm very excited to try this one. Let's sauce it up. <laughs> Feels like a lot of oil. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. This is a very big hot dog. It, like I could not get my mouth around the whole thing to get a bite, but it's really, really flavorful. I mean, it tastes like chorizo because it is a chorizo dog, much more flavor than like a typical hot dog. And the pickled onions in particular, they add like a brightness that it really, really needs. I am shocked that I'm actually saying this right now, but I would order this again. Me on the other hand, I love hot dogs. Uh, they're one of my favorite things. I don't ever eat them because Anna doesn't like hot dogs, but I knew when there was chorizo involved, you could get down with that. The food booths have struck again, haven't they? Um, that's delicious. Chorizo's just so flavorful. It always is, and you're so right. The brightness from the tomatoes and the onions is much needed. The chimichurri is a little oily, um, and with how oily chorizo is and like how fatty chorizo is I wish it wasn't quite as as oily I guess but this is awesome I'm glad that you said you would get it again because I would too at this point y'all probably just think that like we like all food and we're just not picky at all but that is not the case okay I have a very strong disdain for hot dogs so I grew up playing golf and like 90% of the time when you make a turn at a golf course the only thing they have to eat is hot dogs. So I have eaten hot dog after hot dog after hot dog to the point that I am just sick and tired of them. And I like, I can't stomach hot dogs or like anything with the casing on the outside. Like it really grosses me out. That is delicious. Like I will eat many of those, okay, on our trips to the parks. And like, I want another one right now. Like we haven't eaten anything today. We are starving. I could eat one of those by myself right now. Speaking of hot dogs, this is the footlong hot dog. Anna's not even gonna try this one. It looks kind of sad. It, you know. <laughs> Whatever. It's a theme park hot dog. No chorizo dog. No. <laughs> Just gonna, it's a, it's a hot dog. If you've ever had a hot dog, it's just like this one, except this one maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, we probably should have started with this one and then worked our way up to the Trezo dog. This looks really sad in comparison. I'm just gonna try it for science. It's been a while since I've had a normal hot dog, so just for like a direct comparison with the Trezo dog. I regret that. This is the $11 Bavarian pretzel. The reason I mentioned its price is because it doesn't look much different than all the other pretzels you can get here. It might be a little fluffier, but it's like three dollars more, isn't it? Like a yeah. normal pretzel is seven or eight dollars. Yeah. It does come with cheese sauce? Maybe that's what <laughs> you can get cheese sauce for a dollar. I think I think they all come with cheese sauce. No. <laughs> it actually has a different taste. Does it? Yeah, and it's not stale. Is it an $11 taste? It's not an $11 taste. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had an $11 pretzel. It's really good for yeah. a pretzel. Like, it's a really good pretzel. 
the problem is, I'm comparing it like normally when, I, I'm just going to say, it, normally when you get a pretzel here at Universal, it's stale. Is it not? Like, yeah. I, I don't know the last time that I haven't gotten a decently stale pretzel. Every once in a while, you can like kind of push on them. This one is actually, seems somewhat fresh. Um, it's not like steaming or anything like that. It's good. Like, it's the best pretzel I've had at Universal. We went ahead and ate this first while it was hot because we wanted to give the $11 pretzel the benefit of the doubt, but I'm still I'm still skeptical. That is a lot better than I expected it to be, and it is better than the normal theme park pretzels. I agree, $11 is steep, but it's not like they were gonna go back and like make the other pretzels cheaper. So like, I kind of get it. That's good. This is, other than the pizza pretzel, this is the only other pretzel that I would like suggest getting while you're here. And it just made a great point. By the way, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it when I said this is the best pretzel in the park. I, I was kidding, pizza pretzel. I, I totally forgot. Like, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't even consider it a pretzel. That's that, true. That, that's why I, that's why I said what I said. I'm sorry. It's been beautiful and sunny most of the day. I don't know what we did to where it's just gonna rain as soon as we get here. We even brought an to, umbrella. Yeah, I'm just trying to eat a pretzel. Oh. It's getting harder. Rain does not like pretzel. Last thing we're going to say about the pretzel. It's so bad. Um, it's like, like I said, it's almost $11. The chorizo hot dog is $12.50-ish. Yeah. Get the chorizo hot dog. Yeah. Get two of them. It doesn't matter. Just get the chorizo hot dog. I am soaked. Same. Like, I am drenched. <laughs> it opened up. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Toothless got a little wet. You're so worried about me, huh? <laughs> you, you'll be fine. But I guess this is a great place to try the next item. Sure. This is the chili cheese dog. It is the footlong hot dog. And they give you a cup of cheese and a little thing of chili. And it becomes a chili cheese dog. It's only like 50 cents more, isn't it? Yeah. It's not a bad price for cheese and chili. <laughs> It's a chili cheese dog. You know? Yeah, it's not bad. I don't know what else to say. I'm excited to get to the other two things that aren't just hot dogs or a pretzel, because there's like a potato thing that I'm excited about, and then there's two slushes that apparently aren't actually slushes, but they are called slushes, but they're not slushes. <laughs> yeah. Sauna, sauna. That's exactly what it feels like right now, is an outdoor sauna. This is the potato knish. Uh, yes, we looked up how to pronounce that, so I'm fairly certain that's right. Uh, but I think it's basically just pastry dough with potato on the inside, and then they serve it with sour cream. So let's let's break this bad boy open and see what the inside looks like. So this looks like it's just mashed potatoes on the inside of this, which I mean, I am extremely excited about. When I pulled it apart, the pastry dough feels so flaky. I bet it's gonna be so good. It's just mashed potatoes inside pastry dough. I'm a big fan of this. Like, there's nowhere that this can go wrong. Like, it's so simple and it's so good. I was a little afraid that it wouldn't have enough salt, but it's actually good. Like, it has enough salt, not too much. I love this. This would be really, really good if you could get that chimichurri sauce with it. Oh man, I should have asked for one. It does come with sour cream. Um, so it's a knish. Yeah. It's kind of like knife thing you cut with a knife it's just mashed potatoes <laughs> inside of pastry it's kind of comical like isn't it? like which I'm not like I like it like yeah. it's weird that I like it because I would have never put these two things together is it anything else I don't think at so. all huh you know you said the chimichurri yeah the first thing that came to mind is the cheese sauce oh yeah that'd be really good too yeah put the cheese sauce on there you should get this with something that has the cheese sauce, like the chili cheese dog. Dunk that, perfect. Have we ever gotten a potato at the parks that wasn't good? No, I also don't know that we've ever gotten any kind of potato at the parks and not finished it. Breaking news, see that thing right in there? Got some kind of like onion or shallot or something like that. So there's more than just mashed potato in here. These are the strawberry and lemon slush. 
And when you look at them, it's probably not like any slush that you thought, and that's what we thought too. We thought it'd be like a slushy that you get somewhere else. But it's almost like sherbet is kind of what it looks like. They give you a spoon and everything. I'm way more excited to try these than I was. We'll start with the strawberry one. The rain just hit that tree and, or the wind just hit that tree and all the, what, oh well. I feel like a Ninja Turtle <laughs> with my umbrella. Where the sun came out after it rained and it's just a sauna. I don't know if that's why I like this so much or if it's because it's actually just really good. It's almost got like, you can almost see the pieces of strawberry in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. It's like, but it's really light too. It's not really like a sh sherbet um, or a sorbet like they were sort of talking about. I would call it closer to shaved ice, sort of, but a little bit different. This one's the lemon one, and it has more of the consistency that I think of when I think of shaved ice. You know how when they melt, they get hard? You know when you were a kid, and you made a snowball, and it was like one of those wet snows, where it's closer to freezing than it was really cold, and you'd pack it down real hard, and it felt like a rock, and you knew if you threw it at somebody, they were gonna run home screaming. <laughs> like my brothers used to throw at me. That's, that's what this feels like. I've got problems. This one tastes more like lemon Gatorade. That one tastes like strawberry, like the fruit. This one tastes more like Powerade. Sorry, sorry. I know Powerade's the sponsor here, so lemon Powerade. My first thought when I saw these was shaved ice as well, so I hope these live up to my expectations. I don't really get Gatorade or Powerade with this, I think it tastes a lot like lemonade. Like it tastes like a frozen lemonade to me. And I really like it because it's not super sugary. Like I think it's pretty lemon forward, but it's not like a, a really heavy flavor. I really like this and I would absolutely get this again. All right, let's try the strawberry one. Okay, this one is like entirely different yeah. for that one. Like the texture's different. It's way more flavorful. That one's closer to like a sherbet. Yeah. This one's really, really good. Like they're both good, but like I would definitely pick this one. You know what it reminds me of? Like my mom used to get the like the real like 100% fruit popsicles, mm. and there was a strawberry one that had like the seeds in it and all of that. That's exactly what this tastes like, but like a softer texture. It's time for another heart thrilling game of will it mix? Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna mix them up. We're gonna pour the good one into the okay one. Oh, all of it went away. <laughs> I poured too, I have a heavy pour. Whatever. Look at the color. Oh, oh pretty. Very nice. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? What? Like I mixed a strawberry slushy with a lemon slushy. <laughs> it didn't do anything for it. I don't know, it just finished off the strawberry as it was. Oh well. It tastes like pink lemonade. Is that what pink lemonade, is it strawberry lemonade? Is that what it is? Apparently pink lemonade can be strawberry, but it can be any other fruit or even just like food coloring that turns it pink. That actually makes sense because then it would just literally be Pink lemonade. But <laughs> thanks for hanging out, guys. Yeah. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I know we were all rooting for crepes, but the Trezo Dog is its one of the better snacks in this park now. That like, potato knish is good, too. It's its its good. <laughs> you need, they need to serve it with a knife so you can cut it. But anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.